Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're going to talk about the primers that set off the 16-inch guns. I'm standing in the center gun pit of turret 3, and this is where the primer man would step down when you're loading the gun. I'm standing on a small platform that is actually attached to the breech of the gun, and which, when the gun returns to the 5-degree loading angle, like it does automatically after each shot, uh, it latches into a little hasp here. Once I've closed the breech on the gun, I'm going to step back up here where it's safe. And then the gun fires, it recoils about four feet, and then it runs back out into battery. And at that point, it returns to the five degree loading angle, and I can step back off onto here and drop the breech of the gun. When the breech of the gun comes down and prior to the spanner tray folding open like this, I would be wearing a white sleeve, like a, a cottony sleeve, and use that to clean it off. There's a lot of carbon residue and whatnot from the explosion that gets on there and that can foul the gun. What I'm cleaning off is the hole in the back of the gun that the primer is exploding through to set off the powder. So do that. Throw the shell in, powder comes out, throw the powder in, usually six bags. Uh, that closes, the spanner tray opens back up again, and I can close the breech. And at that point, we're putting the, uh, the primer in the back. The primers for these guns are uh, about the same size as a 30 caliber blank. So here is a 30 caliber blank, here is a 16 inch primer, and they're roughly the same size. The primer has a uh, lip around the end for an extractor to grab it. On the 30 cal there's an indentation for that lip. But otherwise they're roughly the same height and uh, same size. This primer, by the way, we found in one of the gun pits and uh, it has a strike mark at the back which means it was percussively fired. The main difference, if, if you were here and I were to hand you both of these, is that despite being the same size and made from the same material, the 30 caliber blank uh, feels pretty darn light. The actual 16 inch primer has some heft to it. It has significantly thicker walls than the 30 cal. Why is that? Well, this just inserts right into the back of the gun. The explosion of the gun could blow through the back of this casing were it thin enough. So it's got to be thick enough to resist the 610 pound powder bags uh, going off. So the primer itself has a little primer in the bottom, just like any rifle cartridge or pistol cartridge, uh, for those of you who reload your own. And this primer can be set off one of two ways. That, that's the really unique thing about these, is uh, you can set them off with an electric charge when you close a firing circuit, uh, or you can set them off percussively by dropping the hammer onto them. Just like any hammer or striker fired gun, something percussively hits that primer in the base of the primer and that's what sets it off. When this explodes, it's obviously just a couple of grains of powder. I don't have the exact number off the top of my head, but that little explosion goes through the hole that the primer is in into the breech of the gun. And then it's uh, not really enough to set off the nitrocellulose grains in the silk powder bag. So the powder bags have a patch sewn onto the back. In fact, it's quilted on. Um, it's not just sewn around the edge. That way, all the powder in there doesn't, through gravity, fall to the bottom. It's, it's distributed throughout the back of this patch. This will burn through that silk patch. It's usually painted red. Uh, it will light the black powder that's in there, and that will give you just enough of an explosion to light the nitrocellulose in your last bag of powder. Uh, that then lights the other bags in front of it in the blink of an eye, and that propels the projectile out of the muzzle of the gun. And we're gonna talk more about the powder in a future video, uh, so if that's something you're interested in, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll, we'll get to it uh, not too long, but uh, the different types of powder, what it looks like, how it's made, uh, that sort of stuff. I forgot to mention earlier 
that these blanks would be stored in a cartridge belt, like a bandolier, just a white cotton thing that the uh, gun captain would wear, and he'd be pulling these out, much like uh, a cowboy drawing rounds. So, uh, have you ever gotten to fire a 30 caliber before? I've gotten to shoot a Springfield 03 and an M1 Garand, and I did not get Garand thumb when I did it. Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from a number of other businesses and individuals like yourselves. In particular, the support you guys have given us have allowed us to make more videos. And we really appreciate it. There's a link in the description so you can continue to support us. Another way you can support us is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. That way, more people find out about our channel and uh, helps get the museum's name out there. Thanks for watching.